What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and tonight I have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. First off, it looks like we have a brand new Summon Skull Fusion Monster. And yeah, here it is right here. It looks so freaking awesome. So we're going to talk about that as well as this brand new structure deck called Master Link. I think we had info on it last month, but now some of the cards have been revealed. And we now know that we are getting a Code Talker Monster and its effect and everything too. As well as two other Link Monsters. And basically, this is another structure deck that is more cyber support. So sounds pretty cool and I'm going to go over these Link Monsters as well. But first off, let's talk about this uh, Summon Skull Fusion Monster because, like I said, it looks so freaking amazing. And uh, first off, too, it is going to be in the Special Pack 20th Anniversary Volume 2 pack. And if you guys remember, in Volume 1, they had the Summon Skull Ritual Monster. Well, of course, Volume 2, I guess, has a fusion for Summon Skull. So I'm kind of hoping maybe this doesn't mean an Xyz next or something like that. I don't know. That'd be awesome. But I'm happy to see new support for Summon Skull because the Ritual was actually really good. Now let's see about this fusion. Anyway, its name is uh, Manifested Skull Archfiend. Of course, it is a level 6 dark fiend fusion effect monster with a 2,500 attack and 1,200 defense. The fusion materials are a summon skull and one dark monster, and of course, its effect is this card's name is treated as summon skull while it's in the monster zone. This card is still treated as an archfiend card. Summon skulls you control gain 500 attack. If this fusion summon card in its owner's control is sent to the graveyard by your opponent, you can special summon one summon skull from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So after reading this, is uh, summon skull actually becoming its own archetype now? I mean, we've always seen some different support for it, but it looks like now they're actually making it into something else, not just something to go along with red eyes. Because when we saw new support for summon skull, you know, of course it went with black skull dragon, we got a new black skull dragon and everything as well. But uh, this kind of looks like it's leaning towards actually giving us new Summon Skull support. And if he uses the Ritual, I guess it would actually work because it counts as a Summon Skull as well. So he can power them up. And powering them up by 500 means they're 3,000 attacks. So that sounds pretty awesome. Although, too, you can actually use this card with Red Eyes if you want because you need Summon Skull and a Dark Monster, which obviously Red Eyes can count for that. So this is actually really interesting. And also, too, if it is sent to the Graveyard, you're able to Special Summon a Summon Skull from your Hand, Deck, or Graveyard. So that gives you a lot of options, too. And if we have more Summon Skull Monsters in the future, that could actually be really good as well. So it is a really interesting Fusion Monster, and I feel like it has potential. Like, this actually could work out really well. And like I said, you could actually throw this in, I guess, with Red Eyes if you wanted to. If you're using the original Summon Skull as well, which that's what I do in my build, and you could just throw this into the extra deck, have another way to get, you know, a Summon Skull out there. I mean, it still has pretty good attack as well, and yeah, you don't mind sending a Red Eyes to the graveyard either, so you could do that, and it would be really easy to set up for. So, give you a little bit extra use of Summon Skull, and again, though, I'm hoping maybe they'll kind of be, like, its own thing, its own archetype. Maybe we'll see, like, other extra deck monsters that are Summon Skull, and uh, maybe even another version of Summon Skull that you can easily bring out. Really does seem cool, though, and a lot of potential. So, I'm looking forward to this, and I gotta get it for its artwork, too. I mean, it's freaking Summon Skull. It's one of my favorite monsters from the original series. It looks amazing. Also, too, in case you're wondering, here are the rest of the reprints, too, that are in this pack. It's a pretty good pack. I mean, you have Construct. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome right there. Pleiades, and then also you have, uh, oh, what's its name? It's the Gemini. You, you Two Geminis to fuse into it. It's like the first of dragons. Is that right? I, I think so. But, uh, yeah, some pretty good reprints. Again, though, this is going to be for Japan, so I have no idea when we're going to get this. I assume we'll at least get these Summon Skull Monsters, though, in something. Maybe they'll be thrown into a pack or something for us. No idea. But... I definitely need to get that, and when I can, I'm going to get the Japanese version as well, just like we did for the Ritual. And then, of course, we have our new Code Talker monster and some support to go along with that. So, these are all new Cybers monsters, and uh, let's go through them. First one we have is right here. It's the new Code Talker. It is a Shooting Code Talker. It is a Link 3 Water Cybers Link monster with a 2,300 attack, and the links are at the top, left, and bottom. I feel like it's just better to show you guys the image when I'm talking about uh, Link arrows and stuff. Anyway, of course, it requires two Cybers effect monsters to uh, link some into it. And of course, its effect is, at the start of your battle phase, you can activate this effect. During this battle phase, this card makes a number of attacks on opponent's monsters up to the number of monsters this card points to, plus one. Also, for the rest of this turn, if your opponent controls exactly one monster and this card battles it, this card loses uh, 400 attack during that damage calculation. At the end of the battle phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters this card destroyed by battle during this turn. 
So it's a talker monster that can just run over all your opponent's monsters, basically, if you have enough link to it. So it kind of reminds me of like Ultimate Tyranno in a way, where it's one that can gain a bunch of attacks. And I guess basically you want to start off with whatever their stronger monster is, because whenever they only have one monster left, then you actually lose attack, making it a, you know, 1,900 attack monster. So it even weakens itself. But what's really cool too is that if you're destroying monsters left and right, you're drawing cards afterwards as well. So it sounds like a really cool uh, code monster. I mean, it's actually, it seems like it'll be one that'll be very usable. And when you think about all the other code like support cards, I think this one's gonna be a really good one to bring out. I mean, like I said, you link it up to everything too and you get all those attacks off. You're drawing a lot of cards afterwards too. And with Cybers, that just means you know, more cards in your hands, more cards that you can bring out, and more Link monsters, because it's like I've said before, they're basically the synchrons of Link summoning, because <laughs> they just swarm the field like that. So I can see this card really helping them out, and it seems like a good addition to them too. Also, I do like the artwork for it too. It just looks awesome. Then after that, we have uh, Elface, I think is how you say it. Anyway, uh, that is uh, this one right here, by the way, in case you're wondering. Anyway, uh, Link 2, Win, Cyverse, Link Monster, 2,000 attack. The links are at the uh, top and, of course, the right, as you guys can see. And the materials are two level 3 or higher Cyverse monsters. Anyway, its effect is you can only use this card's names uh, to effect once per turn. This card gains 300 attack for each monster it points to. If this face-up Link Summon card leaves the field, you can target one level 4 or lower Cyverse monster in your graveyard, special summon it. For the rest of this turn, that monster's effects are negated, and it cannot be used as a Link material. So this one is, uh, well, it kind of reminds me of Dakota Talker in a way because it powers up for, you know, more monsters that's linked to it. So you can actually make it fairly strong. I mean, it would be a 2,600 attack, you know, best case scenario. The only thing is you have to have some higher level monsters bringing it out, which I don't think is going to be a, too big of a problem for Cybers. And I just don't really like the last part of its effect because you get to bring back, of course, a Cybers monster from your graveyard after, you know, this one leaves the field but its effects are negated and it can't be used as a link material. If you wanted, I guess, if you are running some other things in your extra deck, maybe you could uh, use that monster to then uh, XC summon with it if you want to, or I don't know, even fuse or whatever. But the main thing I started thinking about as I was reading this is that I guess, you know, getting that free monster, maybe you could ritual with that, you know, because you're getting a free monster out of it, use that as part of a ritual summon because Cybers now work with rituals. That might be kind of interesting. I don't know. I feel like there's some potential there. And then our last one is right here, of course. It is uh, Talkback Lancer. It is a Link 1 monster, Dark Cyverse, uh, 1,200 attack. The Link arrow was, of course, at the bottom, as you guys can see right there. And the materials are one level 2 or lower Cyverse monster. Anyway, its effect is you can only use this card's name's effect once per turn. You contribute one other Cyverse monster, then target one Code Talker monster in your graveyard with a different original name than the Tributed monster. Special summon it to your zone this card points to. So it's a revival card for the Code Talker monsters. So that can help you get, you know, of course, Decode Talker, Encode Talker, so on and so forth, basically. Which by now, I think you have like six different targets now. Aren't there six different Code Talkers if I'm not, uh, you know, missing any because of the new one? And, I mean, that could actually come in handy for you. It's not going to be a problem to bring out either. I mean, with a level 2 or lower Cyverse, that's obviously not a problem. And just being able to, you know, you just tribute a monster, and then you get a Code Talker. So, getting a free one like that could definitely help you out. And especially using this with Shooting Code Talker, then you could link them together, because then they'll be pointing at it. And let's say it's in your extra monster zone, then you point this one at the one behind it. You could easily get it linked to two cards then, because he would be, of course, down here, and then you could have another monster you could summon on this side of it. So, could be an interesting combo. I don't know, but I do think that's a pretty good Link 1 for Cyphers. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think about these cards? Do you like them? Do you not like them so much? Uh, for the Cyphers monsters, I think there's a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do. Although, as I do like Cyphers, but I, I don't understand how many structure decks are they going to get. <laughs> that's the only thing. If I have a complaint, that's it. You know, I'm kind of tired of them getting all the structure decks, although I'm enjoying the support they're getting. I mean, heck, they have half of my username in their name. But yeah, I, I kind of want to see a little bit more variety, hopefully for the next one. And then also, too, uh, for this new uh, Summon Skull Fusion, 
I definitely want to try it out. I think it has some potential, and if we start to see more Summon Skulls in the future, it could be really awesome. So let me know what you guys think, of course, down in the comments below. In the description, I'll have all the info too if you guys want to check it out for yourself. It's all on the organization's website. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, because I think there's going to be quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! news tonight as well. And also be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more Yu-Gi-Oh! news and openings and stuff too. As always, thank you guys for watching, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.